Hi guys, uh, Johnny Ramirez here from John Ramirez, and we have um, our instructor, our Muay Thai instructor, Eddie Estrada. Uh, we're going to be going over our uh, striking and Muay Thai techniques for the curriculum for you guys. Uh, enjoy. Notice that every time we elbow, you always want to have your hands open, okay? A lot of people get into the habit of elbowing here with their fists closed. They always want to be open because what you end up doing is you relax the muscles on the forearm so that way you expose the bone that's how you end up cutting, okay? So if I have my fist closed, I'm flexing my muscle and now that muscle ends up covering the bone. So if I'm elbowing, it's almost like you're kind of elbowing with the, with the cushion. You're putting a, a cushion on your, uh, on, your, uh, on your bone. You want to expose that bone by opening the hand, relaxing the hand, so that way you cut. Okay? So remember, hands always open 100% of the time with the elbows. So first one we're going to do is the Hanuman. Okay? So Hanuman comes over this way almost like if you're kind of going to do a karate chop. Okay? The only difference is you're going to end up coming down with the point of your elbow here. Okay? So again, just like with your punches, you put your body into it, you're going to do the same thing with your elbows. Okay? You're also going to put your body into it. It's just going to add a lot more torque and a lot more power to your elbows. Okay? So, from here, remember my hand comes back, I pivot my body into it, and I come down with the point of the elbow. Okay? And same thing with the left. Okay? So, I'm here, hands open, and come down with the point. So, I'll do it in front of the camera so you guys can see it. So, again, always good strong stance. Okay? Everything's square. Okay? So, Hanuman. And then Panama. Okay, notice that I pivot with my front foot, same as I do with my jab. Okay, so I put my whole body into the elbow here. Okay. All right, so next is a spinning elbow, which is called soka. Okay, so there's two ways of throwing. Okay, either you can just step right in, okay and come with it here, or you can step out at an angle, okay? So again, with the elbows, your hands are always open. So I'm gonna break it down here. So look, I'm gonna take a step straight in. I'm already pivoting on that front foot, okay? So it's a little bit of footwork. So as soon as you step in, that front foot's pivoted here, okay? This back leg is gonna end up straightening out I'm going to end up using my upper torso, whipping my upper torso right around, okay? Make sure that your opposite hand is up by your face, okay? Because if you throw a spinning elbow and you get caught this way here, all he's got to do is throw a left hook and then it slides out, okay? So you want to make sure that hand is up here and you want to get right back to your stance, okay? Now I'm going to step out to the side, okay? So I'm here, good strong stance. I step out to the side and I let that elbow fly, okay? Now all this is happening in one quick motion. So you get a lot of momentum into this elbow. Okay, again, it's very deceiving. Also, you get a lot of width, a lot of motion into it, a lot of power. Okay, you can even throw this with the left. I like throwing it with the left because you take that extra step. So again, I'm going to step straight in, let that elbow fly, and then I'm going to step out towards at an angle and let that elbow fly. Again, you take that extra step, so you get a lot more momentum into it. Okay. Don't get into this habit or make this mistake, which a lot of people do. They'll take a step and they'll let that back leg slide in, okay? All you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up crowding yourself and you're gonna mostly just kind of bump the guy instead of hitting them with your elbow, okay? Same thing with the lead, okay? Don't go here and then take that extra step here because again, look, I'm just crowding myself, okay? I'm not really hitting them with a the solid elbow. It should only be one step. One step. I'm going to step straight in and to the side. All right, guys, so now we're going to do the bunk socks. Now we're going to come down at an angle. So we demonstrated one earlier where we came right over the top. This time we're gonna come down at an angle, like an X, okay? So you're gonna aim mostly for the eyebrows here. Okay, so, again, good strong stance. Again, when you remember hands, always open, 
Also, when you're throwing those elbows, you want to kind of put your body into it, just like a punch. It's just going to add a lot more power into your, uh, your elbows. So here, I'm going to come with the left, down at an angle, and then right, down at an angle here. Okay, aiming for the eyebrows. So again, here, straight ahead, good strong stance, hands open, left thumbs up, right thumbs up, and I'm coming down at an angle, right at an angle. 